Oh man, we won last night. Hey, we making it a game now, man. It's this it's two three. We only get we wait a minute. Wait. Oh. Damn. Three-pointer is good, but the time is complete. The Warriors are NBA champions again. Well, good morning, people. What's going on? What's going on? How y'all doing? Uh, on a new trip right now here at FedEx. About to uh, head to New York. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna wake up this morning and um, see if the Cavs would have would at least made it a game. But um, I guess not. They. Um, I, I, <laughs> They tried. They tried. I mean, you know, I, I looked at the score and I woke up thinking, man, we're gonna make it a game. We're gonna make it a miracle. We're gonna, we're gonna do it again. But Kevin Durant and uh, Golden State Warriors had different plans for that. They said, nah, that's not gonna happen. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna do that. Y'all, y'all not, y'all not gonna, y'all not gonna do that flute no more. So I woke up to this right here. That's the score. Yeah. Uh, Warriors take it four to one. Um, I, you know. The Cavs, the Cavs really didn't have nothing for them. They they really didn't have nothing for them. They didn't have nothing for the speed. They didn't have nothing for the offense. They they you know they just couldn't they couldn't slow they couldn't slow down this fast paced team. You know, Steph Curry was still was still good with the shot. Curry with the pot. What? Kevin Durant did his thing. And the rest of the Golden State Warriors was just was just a beast out there. I mean, I hate to say it, but they they was just a beast. I, I my hats off to them. All right, as you guys can see, I got a haircut a little bit too low, you know that you know. But this this was for my backup bar. But anyway, back to the back to the thought. Um, look, we we got the best player on the team uh, in in LeBron James, uh, Kyrie Irving. You know what I'm saying? He's he's a good player. He's he's a good he's a good mixture for LeBron James. But LeBron can't do it by itself. And it's a team game for a reason. LeBron can only do but so much. He he can't do it by itself. Um, Golden State, you know, they, they went back, you know, picked up KD over the, you know, over the, um, over the off season. Uh, they, they worked on, they, they, you know, they, they worked on the team. They worked on the mesh. They worked on what they needed to work on. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the Cavs just... I don't know. They, I don't know. Now, of course, next year they they're gonna make it to the playoffs again. One thing I can say about uh, about our Cavs is that every time we make it to the playoffs, we become Eastern Conference champions. 
So we're already champions. We're we're just not the world champions, but we already the Eastern Conference champions. We we've been that we've been that for almost not seven years in a row, but for almost seven, eight years now. You know what I'm saying? We've been to the finals. One, two, three, four, five. We've been to the finals about five, about five times. You know. So, you know, I, I really can't I really can't down uh Cleveland. I mean Cleveland made strides. You know, we we made strides. And the one game that we we broke records in the one game, but it's like I said before, what about the first three? What happened to them in the first three games? You know, Golden State just came and and just took care of business. You know what I'm saying? And I believe the Cavs had great intentions on on trying to do what they needed to do, but it just it just didn't mesh. You know, they they got, you know, the better team won. The better team won, you know, and more power to, you know, congratulations to Golden State. Uh, you know, they, they did the thing. Now it's time for the Cleveland to go into the off season. And what they need to do is they, they, they need to work. You know, don't, don't do like they did like a couple of years ago when they got defeated by the Magic and went back and, and tried to get Shaq, you know, to do something. They, no, what, what they need, they, they need some fresh feet. You know, they need some fresh feet. LeBron's getting older, you know. I mean, he's still the best player in the league, but he is getting older. You know what I'm saying? Kyrie still got, Kyrie still got handles. Kyrie is like our, our generation of Allen Iverson, you know what I'm saying? Kyrie still can do the damn thing. Uh, Kevin Love, I don't know, I don't know, but I, I said this once before in a post, and I said uh, what they need to stop doing is trying to concentrate on getting the big three or big four and concentrate on getting players that can get the job done and the Cavs you know they you know they 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 got game they can they they are the team to beat okay Cavs really are the team to beat but in the big game that's when it's that's when it all falls apart it's like it's like it's like uh, a kid getting nervous in front of, uh, of thousands of people, and he just stands there and just be like, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what I mean. That's that's what I mean. That's that's what I'm talking about right there. And that's how the Cavs was in this in this series right there. They got they got to the big game and they just froze. Absolutely horrendous chokes. It's that time of the year. Hey on my bad, I'm fucking sleepy. It's my girl. It's that time of the year. Fuck me, what's happening? What's happening? My bad, my bad, my bad. It's that time of the year. Fucking hell. They just froze. So hopefully next year they can uh they can do the damn thing, you know, they'll, they'll come back rejuvenated. Of course, they're going to get into the playoffs again. Of course, they're going to be, you know, become Eastern Conference champions again. And they're going to make it to the finals again. Now, who they going to play against next year? My best bet is going to be Golden State Warriors. Because right now, the Warriors are the team to beat right now. You know, so we met them three times. They got two, we got one. You know what I'm saying? Next year is all about, it's about a, you know, wash and repeat. You know what I'm saying? Wash away the dirt, come back fresh. 
So hopefully they do. Hopefully they do. And when they do, and when we stand there and get another uh, Larry Doby trophy, I'll be right there with him. Hey, look, I got my hat. This the hat I was looking for. What's up, y'all? What's going on? So, I found my hat. Damn, look at that. That right there. This this is the hat right here. Um, I went to uh, went to the store. Let me, hold on right quick. I, I gotta tell you the story before I get off. Look, I went, you know, yesterday, I only had a few hours because I had to come to, I had to come to this FedEx in the morning. But, uh, I went to I, I went to play poker yesterday at uh, Jack Cleveland Casino. It was a pretty good game. It's it pretty good. I I made a few dollars. Um, but since I knew I had to come here in the morning, I left and I went over to the went over to the Quicken Loans Arena. So I go over there and I went over to the team store and the guard was there. He goes, Hey, uh, this is you know this is the exit and we're not letting people in. Only people that can get in here is the people that got tickets. So I go, huh, tickets? What, I, I gotta buy a ticket to come to the team store? He was like, yeah, because the team store closed at five o'clock. I think I got down there maybe about six, six thirty. So I go in there, hold up. I go in there and um, I get the ticket. I, I go in there, buy the ticket. The ticket was $10, see? right here hold on bitch uh, there you go the ticket right there was ten dollars you know i had to pay for the ticket and then i had to uh come back and then go to the uh team shop so i'm tripping on the fact that i had to that i had to buy a ticket to get into the team shop but I figured, you know, since I was leaving, I, you know, posted on my Facebook if anybody wanted a ticket because I wasn't going to stay for the game. But um, I guess not, but I guess I'll just keep it as a souvenir now. So I went into the team shop, you know, to make a long story short, went into the team shop. I got my, uh, I got my t-shirt, my 2017 t-shirt, Finn the Land t-shirt. I don't, I, I don't like this slogan. I, I really don't. But I had to get one because I wanted, you know, I wanted one. Now, being that it's summertime right now, it's hot. I gotta get some, uh, I gotta get some shorts to go with it, some N1 shorts. So I'll be going over to Walmart this Friday and uh, picking it up. And then, like I said, I got the hat. Now, the first hat, the the 2017, the Eastern Conference Finals hat. I didn't like it. It was big. It was bulky. It had. The, it, it just had too much. It just had too much on there. You know, 2017 NBA Finals. Uh, and then it had the. Then it had the Cavalier symbol. And I was like, I'm not feeling that hat. I'm not feeling that. But when I saw this one online, I knew I had to have it. This one right here is simple. It got the. It got the ball player logo with the trophy in the background and then it got it got the patch the cleveland patch nba finals written on the brim and you know and it's a new era and plus it's a low profile now they got two of them they got the regular they got the regular brim which i saw first and then i saw this one which is the 940 and the 940s are the are the low profile hats and i, I like these a little bit better Alright guys, that's it. That's my thoughts about the Cavs. I hope they can do something next year. Uh, I hope they take this offseason, look at the tape, see where they need to work on and, and concentrate on that. If they meet the Golden State Warriors again next year and they have the fresh feet to match, then I guarantee you, Cleveland, we will have another trophy. Now, let's see what the Cleveland Indians can do. All right, they, they had the miracle last year when they made it to the World Series. Let's see what they can do this year. And the Cleveland Browns? Exactly. Lockout men.